My name is Yolita Brilliant and uh, today I wanted to show you how easy it is to tint your brows, well, or get your brows tinted at a salon. I am a licensed esthetician, so I'm certified to do this. There's definitely some kits you can buy on Amazon to tint your brows. Oh, by the way, I'm just removing because I have a little bit brow powder on there because I was wearing makeup earlier. I'm still wearing it. Duh! <laughs> Obviously, right? Okay, so kind of this is just micellar water to remove this powder and then you can use or we use in the salon well, massage, brilliant massage skincare is my spa so what we use of course I would be wearing gloves and all that stuff but because this is me and I am home have my own kit here I'm just gonna do it freestyle so you know, sometimes we put oil around it just to make sure nothing splashes out uh, and your skin doesn't get dyed up, but I'm not really concerned about that. I'm using Augen Blick. Uh, this is made in Germany. Um, and then we have this little things in different colors here, all kinds of pink shades like graphite, black, brown. Um, auburn, blonde, light brown. So what I'm going to do, I am actually going to do natural brown. So my brows are kind of like black a little bit. Okay, should I mix it with? No, definitely not chestnut. Maybe a little bit graphite. What would you guys think? I think maybe I'll just do natural brown for today. And the last, so what I'll do, I'll add some of this thing in here. Um, it lasts about two weeks, up to a couple months actually. Did that on my husband's wife and she has very fair skin, very fair brow hair, fair complexion. And her tint stayed a very long time in there, which is nice. Because she doesn't really wear makeup, it just looked like she had more defined brows. So here I mixed the developer and the dye. And then I just need a little spatula. Oh, do I need a spatula? Okay, so let's see, what can we grab here to use? You know what I could use? Hmm. I think I could use this. So what I could use is um, this like um, one time use. Hmm. Actually, I like this better because it has no stuff on. I don't like the the one that foam whatever thing is on that thing um okay so now i'm just mixing it up so now what i'm gonna do you can go and see there i'm gonna apply this paste here and then i'm gonna wait 10 to 15 minutes and i'll be right back in the camera to take it off so you could guys see then what happens when you tint your brows you don't really need to put brow powder or just they just look more natural of course you can still add some if you want but you need to you don't have to they look naturally more defined Got quite a bit of paste in there. Do you need your brows then? Come on over. Okay. Okay. Be right back. Let's remove this gorgeous paste. 
only need water pretty much. Guys, this is after the tint. Now it's super intense and it is gonna wash off, you know, first day is super intense, but then it becomes more normal, natural looking. Now you do more intense so it would last a much longer time. You can go less time, less paste, it will be, you know, more subtle, but I'm fine with it because I know, you know, I wash my face morning and night, so it will wash off and start, you know, fading a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let me know guys what you think. Post in the comments down below if you ever had a tent or if you would like an eyebrow tent. If you're in Burlington, Vermont, we do offer them at Brilliant Massage and Skin Care as well as eyelash tent. Maybe I'll do that sometime. I'll demo on someone else because on myself, you know, kind of be tricky to do having to have eyes open. Not the best. Um, but uh, I appreciate you watching in. If you enjoyed, I would appreciate the look. And also on Instagram, I'm Delita Brilliant. And I would appreciate if you subscribe to this channel for more beauty, uh, wellness, massage, skincare, um, business, all that fun stuff, whatever I feel like making in videos. Um, anyways, we we'll love to stay in touch. And, uh, have a brilliant day!